Song Tower here. How's it going? Kids dragged home a interesting book the other day. Turns out us aliens aren't just interested in the Deltic. There's another engine, the Rolls Royce Creasy, that's pretty fascinating. It's a sleeve valve two stroke V12. So I'm going to show you some of this book here that the, the kids brought home. Now, I want to do this to promote the book. It's well worth buying. As you can see here, it's called the Rolls-Royce Creasy. And it's put out by Rolls-Royce Heritage Trust. And if you look on their website, you can find it for sale there. I just wanted to hit a couple of the highlights on it here on the Creasy. Colored in some drawings here. This is a cross-section view of the engine. As you can see, it's a V engine, V12. Uh, it was intended for aircraft, but it was never used in those, uh, never actually flew, but they did build six full-sized engines. It was a direct injection gasoline engine. Um, so what we have here is the sleeve. It's also a two-stroke engine, so it fires every time. So the inlet ports are down at the bottom of the cylinder, and they inlet through the holes in the sleeve. And the exhaust, when the sleeve comes right down, it exits over the top of the sleeve into the exhaust ports. Anyway, another diagram here, if I can get that ant off it there. I'll explain this here, show you there. It's uh, this diagram number one. It's at top dead center, the piston's at the top. The sleeve has commenced this downward stroke 15 degrees ahead of the crankshaft. Number two, here. Exhaust opens 89 degrees before bottom dead center. Top edge of the sleeve cuts across the cylinder ports. Piston skirt is open to the air blast for cooling. Number three. Air opens 52 degrees before bottom dead center. Top edge of the piston cuts across the sleeve ports. Sleeve and piston traveling downwards and scavenging commences. Exhaust ports are three quarters open. Incoming air cools rings to top of piston and top of piston. Air entering before injection commences sweeps in a vertical column to clean out the bulb of exhaust residuals termed half loop scavenging. Number four. Bottom dead center injection commences at full load. Extreme end of spray catches air as it enters and eddies around the sleeve port bars breaking up the fuel particles. Number five. Exhaust closes 59 degrees after bottom dead center. Injection ends with a rich dribble. Top edge of ascending sleeve closes cylinder ports. Cylinder filling takes place until boost pressure is attained. Number six. Air closes 68 degrees after bottom dead center. Top edge of the piston cuts across the sleeve ports. Sleeve and piston moving upwards. Compression commences with a rich mixture in the bulb. So the Creasy had an interesting cycle. It uh, is a direct injection gasoline engine. Now this was made uh, during World War II and uh, uh, they quit uh, building it in about 1945-46. So even back then um, it was direct injected uh, gasoline engine and it was also uh, turbocharged. Uh, had a lot of unique features to it. So it's an interesting engine. and. Uh, I would encourage you to uh, either look for this book in the library or uh, order one online.